What's going on there guys? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is really my one and only Android video with this phone, the Inspire 4G. By the time you see this, I will have traded my uh, Inspire 4G for an iPhone, not because I really want an iPhone, but because I need one for this channel. I've absolutely loved my Inspire 4G, and if you don't haven't tried an Android device, do not bash it because they're significantly better than you may be led to believe. Try one, they're excellent. Um, but what I wanted to show you was a ROM that I've loaded onto this bad boy called MIUI. Now it's a Chinese ROM, but they do have English language packs available. And up until this point, I would have thought and told everyone that Cyanogen Mod 7 was the best ROM, period, hands done, far none. However, this has changed my mind drastically. This is the most beautiful ROM I've ever used, without a doubt. It's fantastic. And I just wanna show you a couple of the features that separates it from other ROMs. First of all, as you can see, it's very fluid. Transitions are huge in this revision, and you can really see just the beauty of this. It changes pretty much everything, uh, but it also depends on the themes. This. Uh, this ROM is very theme consistent, and it's not even so much themes from the app market as much as downloading themes uh, right from your device. You click online theme, and uh, you can select all the themes you want and download them to your liking. But I'm gonna go back to local themes and just install a different one. You press apply, and it is gorgeous. It takes a couple seconds, but you'll notice that my theme is totally changed. Um, it's successfully applied, and boom, it's completely different. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, the customizability in this is beautiful. Again, um, from this lock screen, you have three options. You can slide down to open the dialer, slide down to open unlock, and then slide down to open SMS. You just slide down one of these categories and it opens that app immediately. It really just has the iOS polish you're really used to. And for Android users that think, hey, this is kind of ugly, this really makes things extremely pretty. Um, I've been really, really impressed by this ROM. I'm, I think the stock ROM is the best looking, or the stock theme is the best looking one, so I'm going to go back to that one. But you can change the typeface and everything. Um, the home screen customizability is beautiful. Um, you can change the wallpaper if you so want. You just do your typical menu and then you can change the wallpaper from there. Live wallpaper, lock screen wallpapers, and home screen wallpapers. And they have these nice, very uh, panoramic pictures that kind of slide as the home screen slides, much like uh, Froyo. I believe this is not running gingerbread. I think it's still... Uh, 2.2, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, actually, we can check here, I guess. Go into settings. We'll go down to about phone. They've separated this settings section, which is kind of weird, and I'll actually show you one of the really nice features about this. Um, I don't know where it is. I'm not sure, but um, one of the really cool things, I've just tried this for probably three or four hours, I haven't really figured everything out yet, but um, there's some really, really minute settings. First of all, you can um, have a personal password and it can lock specific applications. I know there's some Android market apps that do this, but this is native to the ROM, which is cool. Um, you can select which applications have uh, availability for your GPS location. You can also have DND mode, which is beautiful. You can choose and tell your phone um, what numbers you want blacklisted. So let, as every Android user knows, you have a blacklist. If you don't know that, use your phone to the fullest of its capabilities. But you can select that Android phone and all the people who are blacklisted that call me, I can choose whether I want to mute them. I don't want them to interrupt. I can ignore uh, notifications, hang up immediately, go to voicemail. It's really, really cool. Uh, show and call log or don't show at all. And then you can also check your log uh, down at the bottom for people that call you that you don't want to. Uh, you can see this firewall log and uh, you can see these calls and messages that came in from block or unknown or rejected numbers, which is really cool. Um, excellent feature that's not in hardly any ROMs I can think of. Um, there's really, really strict uh, security and privacy settings. CyanogenMod has this included, but it's not very beautiful. Um, let me find out where it is. Where is it? I think it's there. Um, I can't remember where it is. Maybe it's launcher settings. No. Hmm. I can't remember, but what it allows you to do is select exactly what applications you want. Oh, maybe they're in proxy settings. No. Shucks, but it allows you to say, okay, this application, yes, you can send stuff out. Uh, by the way, it has a portable hotspot, which is awesome, um, but built in natively, which is really, really nice to see. Uh, there's some really cool battery settings, like you can have the battery rather than having it being displayed up here. Uh, you can have like a little green bar that goes on top. It's part of one of the themes, but I mean, there is tons of customizability in here. Um, I'm trying to find that s option. I swear it's under secure and privacy settings. 
But what you can do is you can actually look at each individual application and you can say, yes, you can access this or no, you cannot. So like wallpapers, sometimes wallpapers want personal info like from you. Like it'll be like, oh, when you install this live wallpaper, it also has access to your SMS. And you're like, I don't, what? No. And so you can tell that phone, that program, nay, don't phone home. Don't do anything. Don't look at that. And you can put really, really heavy restrictions on each individual. Oh, here it is. No, I don't know. I don't know where it is. Ah, shucks. It, it kills me. But uh, there's an uninstaller built on board. There's a task manager built on board. Um, if you pull down this menu, by the way, you have a beautiful notifications window you just pull down. And uh, it's the most responsive one I've ever seen. You can choose to lock the device. I mean, you can just do everything mechanically. And it is just a beautiful, really snappy, really fast ROM that really brings in that classic iOS feel that um, iPhone users crave. And uh, one of the really nice features that I think is a lot of fun, uh, it's not really that important, but I think it's pretty cool, is that you can actually select uh, individual transitions for your wallpaper. So you could have, uh, like we can do a page here. And it will, as you can see, fade out like a book, like a page. It's really smooth, really beautiful. My favorite one personally is uh, Fall Down. This is just a really cool transition. Take a look at that. You can go between your pages. It's super fluid. One of the most, like seriously, one of the most uh, elegant transitions I've ever seen. All the animations are beautiful. The icons are awesome. And uh, there's just some really, really great features in MIUI. Um, there's, you know, notes. There's, you know, all your typical applications like your market. And everything's the same. You just have this beautiful ROM that runs everything really smoothly. Uh, memory has never become an issue. You still have, you know, your typical stuff, the internet browser. And it really is just absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. And I love it to death. MIUI, if you haven't checked it out already, definitely go check it out, especially if you're a CyanogenMod 7 user, because I can tell you right now, you will not be moving back. This is the perfect ROM, and I've never seen one any better. iPhone users, this is the future of Android. I mean, if I didn't have to trade in my iPhone for, you know, me being that snazzy iPhone guy, I would keep this any day of the week. Absolutely marvelous. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, download MIUI today at miuiandroid.com. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.